Welcome to the second night of the All You Need Is Love Spring Fling virtual show inside the Bank Theater. I'm Corey Robertson. Thank you so much for joining us. Folks, this series of music is a virtual Pass the Hat event. So whatever you can afford, we recommend a $20 ticket for tonight. But if you can afford five, we're grateful for it. And if you can afford 50 or higher, we'll be more than happy to put together a Bank Theater swag bag for you and get it delivered to you in a safe manner. Tonight, we're so pleased to bring back to the stage married duo The Fontaines. Ryan on the stand-up bass, Sarah, and her beautiful vocals, they're here inside a socially distant bank theater to perform for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the music of The Fontaines. Hi there, we're The Fontaines. We'd like to thank the bank for having us again. And uh, we're going to play a few originals and one very special cover for you today. Um, our first song is about renewed hope uh, for a relationship, and it's called Awkward Ballet.
right. So this next song. <clears throat> this one's an oldie but a goodie, I'd say, for us. And the only song I've ever <laughs> truly written about our relationship. So there you go. <clears throat> the first time I ever sang it uh, for Ryan, he went, so what's it about <laughs> then? And uh, that was, yeah, so it was good. Uh, this is called Balance. Uh, <clears throat> and it's yeah. about it's about you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> cool. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> all right. Merry Christmas and all the birthdays from now on and forever. <laughs> all right. One, ready, play. Something seems wrong.
There you go. Well, we're really excited to be back inside the Bank Theater again after all this time. And we're so glad that you've joined us for All You Need Is Love, The Spring Fling. It's another one of our virtual performances inside the Bank Theater, our way of bringing the arts to you the best way that we can in these times. And folks, it certainly is a virtual pass the hat event. So if you can help out at the Bank Theater, anything you can afford to give this year, we know times are tough. So if it's $5, if it's 20, if it's 50, whatever think that you think you can manage this time around, we should appreciate your support and we're so happy to be doing this again and uh, we pause in the music here to talk to the Fontaines. Sarah, Ryan, thanks for coming back. We thanks. had you at our Christmas show yeah. and, and now the spring show. Well, thanks yeah. for having us back. It was so good to be Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere days. that isn't my house. Yeah. It, there is something to, to jumping at the opportunity to say, I just want to get outside. Mm -hmm. You can only do so many, you know, kid activities in yeah. the snow. Yeah. Um, but uh, to be able to do something, um, you know, Ryan, I wanted to start uh, with, with a comment that, that you were making uh, in, your, in your performance that, you know, as musicians, you want to bring... You want to bring the story, you want to bring the music, you want to bring that to people. It's, it's, you know. I think it's innate to, to musicians to want to be able to interact with people. I think that if we, with that taking away uh, the ability to be able to interact with other people as musicians, it really, it's sort of just, it takes the wind right out of your sails as far as being able to, to be creative and to want to, to perform, right? Because it, mm -hmm. you, it's, it is something you thrive on, even if it's one person sitting in an audience that you can share that experience with and that story with, I, and whether that's, you know, your story through a song or a performance or, or anything, it's, it's, it's integral to what we do. Yeah, I think your, your word sharing is, is essentially what, what we're missing right now. It's the back and forth. It's not just a, a one direction thing, right? Sure, we could get in the recording studio and record a bunch of stuff, but there's mm -hmm. no, there's just no visceral process yeah. where you get yeah. to share. Yeah, the live component of, of being an artist is so, uh, so important. Even when you take a recording, there's still a sense you've, you've finished the project, it's produced the way you want it to be, and there's still, there's still the opportunity. The next step is to, you know, give it to the world, mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to birth it mm -hmm. out there. Yes, yeah. exactly. and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, now I have the opportunity to, you know, to purchase it myself, listen to it. You know, I listen, you know, I get, I get what I, you know, think that, yeah. that it means to me, but then I can come and see you mm -hmm. play it live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that sort of happened to us because we did finish uh, our album and we released it um, in November of last year and then our, our release party was supposed to be in April and the pandemic uh, put a put an end to that mm -hmm. so you know it's out there it's on mm -hmm. all of the things and it's a real mm -hmm. product but we definitely didn't have the opportunity to go and uh, play and sell and uh, have people listen and that was um, yeah. so you know the, happened to lots of people yeah and that makes the process almost feel somewhat incomplete as a result of that right I mean you don't have that 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 release right the CD release or the you know we say CDs we but did the it album, online the album release whatever <laughs> as we do yeah. as one does now yeah. everything's so you know it's it, it, like she's like you say it's out there but it's uh, you, you know in a, in a way that we were sort of forced to have to do, right? So. Mm -hmm. Now that I've had the chance to, you know, have these little private concerts, that's, you know, <laughs> me, and, me, and the crew, me and the crew in the audience, and I'm getting these private concerts, it's, it's almost a dream come true for me. Um, but I've seen you guys now so many times, and it, 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 what I get is a sense from your songwriting, Sarah, that you seem to really, you write from a really true place. You kind of come from the heart on all of your subject matter. I try to. And uh, it's interesting because I feel that that's one of the reasons that I haven't really been able to write this last year. The, the emotions and everything are so raw and close to the surface that it's hard to find that true place right now. But yeah, I, I definitely, um, I feel that write what you know in a, in a way that you can uh, relate to is an important part of and that writing. others can relate to, right? As a result of that, I think often. Yeah. Right? I think if it's, it's true honest. to you, it will it be honest, honest to others. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, when you think about, a, uh, you know, a life where certainly where you come from, uh, you know, Ryan, uh, you know, just six, you know, I want to jump all the way back to the late 90s, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and, 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 you know, in a touring life. Mm-hmm. And, and now we're again, we're in this place where nobody can do that. You yeah. can't go out yeah. on tour. You can't play, yeah. you know, to live audiences. It's, and it's just and it's it's so broad spectrum in the sense that your local musician to your biggest national touring act is all sort of in the same boat too mm-hmm. right so everybody's mm-hmm. sort of forced to to not perform and not tour and you know it's um you know having having done it and you know the the experience that that that, that is and that that creates you know really is is not it's it's irreplaceable for for a musician for an artist you know you, you need that again just that connection right with with the, with the people with the crowd with mm-hmm. uh, Especially for, for what yeah. we do, because what we do is so, you know, it's not large scale and we're able to really connect with audiences on a more personal level. We're not playing auditoriums or stadiums. Mm. Or, yeah. Right. Playing as, a, playing as a duo now and compared to, you know, the yeah. time when, you know, you did the, the Johnny Favorite thing. And the, I mean, the, what, there was like 14 in the band. Yeah, there was, a, there was a big band and it was, a you know, playing to, you know, massive crowds. And, you know, and it, yeah, it's I've certainly I've been fortunate to be able to sort of experience all different levels. of, And a lot of musicians don't get that opportunity, right, to do those really to do that big, you know, playing to 40 50,000 people and then playing an intimate setting to four or five people right and it's each one to me it represents uh, a, its own beauty you know mm-hmm. what i mean for sure so so there's obviously there's 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 a very strong and obvious uh, connection between the two of you on stage. You can see it, you can hear it, like you guy. can feel in it, and this is the part where we get a little bit mushy. It's <laughs> coming because this is the all you need is love, yeah, right? Oh, true, what's yeah. what's your love story? Where did you guys? What? How did? What did you meet? What's the story? You, what's the Fontaine story? Go ahead, tell I tell yeah. better stories, uh, <laughs> most because I like to talk. Um, but I'll keep it brief. Um, so we did meet doing music. Um, of I, course. Definitely vowed I would never uh, date or marry a musician. Um, <laughs> I never made that. Success. I don't, I don't know why. I thought there would be too much competition. Um, so both of us were asked to participate in a in a in a show called Songs for a New World that was being done down by uh, the water on a makeshift stage in a tent. And I thought, oh, I'm too busy and I don't have time for this. And I just don't really. I specifically need to make money this summer and uh, I need it to work at the mall. And so the director dropped the CD off at my house and I listened to the first couple measures and I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing this show. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I ended up doing the show and uh, yeah, the rest is history. And I, yeah, I mean, I ran into him as well in a different scenario. I think it was an Outback Steakhouse. (laughs) (laughs) So for dinner and he, he, I saw the the director and he says, I need you. I need you for a, for a show coming up. Mm -hmm. And um, I was doing, you know, I do a lot of, a lot of music theater I've performed you know in, in a lot of different music theater groups and shows and over the years and that was that was one that I mm-hmm. again heard the music and said I have to do this show and we met and um, that was it she couldn't remember my name for a while I but then his name was Brian it was fine <laughs> It's fine. But it's here close. we are, twenty. <laughs> it's close. I did okay. Close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't too far off the mark, and here we are. I think that was twenty years ago. Yeah, two kids. Yeah, and, twenty uh, years later. Two and cats two kids. and a dog. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. The pandemic's been great. I love being home. It's wonderful. But uh, yeah, it's the, it's a crazy, crazy. Music, music is what brought us together yep. ultimately, and it's what I really firmly believe it's what's kept us together, really. Because mm-hmm. I mean, every relationship experiences its ups and downs and trials and tribulations. Uh, there's certainly no hiding that. And I, I really truly believe that it's music that brought us, that kept us, and will continue to keep at least for us anyway, keep yeah. us together. Even in the height no of the question. pandemic or yeah. the height of the first lockdown, yeah. we were yeah. doing no. live streams every week and it was just something to keep us on track and keep going and practice and uh, something to share with our kids and our family and mm-hmm. it, it brought people together, which was good. So yeah, yeah. music. Yeah. Wonderful story. Guys, I can't wait to get you back on the stage here at the Bank Theater with a packed house. Yeah, I can't wait for that day. I, I can't tell you us, when it's coming. Us too. It's but okay. I can't yeah. I can't wait. It'll and happen. you know we're gonna have you we know we're gonna yeah. have you back. We well, love you guys. You're a big part of what we do here we, at the Bank Theater. We thank so you for that. Thanks for yeah. what you do. Appreciate thanks it. So much. And folks, we appreciate what you do. And uh, again, this is a virtual pass the hat event. Whatever you think you can manage to afford uh, in these 
these tough times and know that with what's going on, uh, every dollar counts and it counts for us as well. So whether it's five or 20 or $50, we're going to use it very, very wisely to make sure that the arts continue to stay alive and well in Leamington and all of Essex County. And we do it with your help. We're going to get back to the music now with more from the Fontaines. Uh, this song is called Last Song. We never put it last because that would seem too obvious. It's true. Um, mm -hmm. So this song is about a relationship that maybe... So all three songs really are, so far, have been relationship-based. Do you think I did that on purpose? <laughs> what? I don't know. I might have. Okay. Uh, so this song... <laughs> Detective over here. Dun, dun, dun. He is. He's basically uh, the brains of the operation. <laughs> Uh, so the song definitely is about um, maybe the last gasps of a relationship. Mm. Ooh. Depressing relationship song. Mm. Mm. But maybe it's not. Maybe you can turn maybe it, it around. Resuscitated. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned. The next episode <laughs> of. <laughs> All right. This is last song, but not the last song.
All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening, who's out there listening today. We appreciate all the support that we get from, from everyone. Um, it's nice to have an opportunity to, uh, to play music right now, even if it is in this context, just because it's, uh, you, know, it gets, you can only do so much playing music on your own, or even as a couple. With, you need to, we need to get out there and, and make music for other people, whether it's virtually or, or to a small group of people or outside or whatever it is, because as musicians, we just, you have to do it. Once it's, once it's part of you, once it's in you, you have to make and share your music with, um, with other people. I think that's about, uh, that about something sums that, it up. well, and I think it's something that pretty much any musician could probably relate to as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm about to start ready to start playing on my front porch if it weren't for the snow <laughs> and the fact that my neighbors might throw tomatoes. Although I like tomatoes. Pasta sauce. Yeah, <laughs> you make pasta sauce. <laughs> All right. For our last tune today, uh, we pulled this out of the vault. We learned this a few years ago. And this group uh, was the kind of the the catalyst, the almost, inspiration yeah. because I wanted Ryan to sing in our group, and I said, "You really need to learn." I don't. You don't need to learn. You already know how to sing, but you really need to to play and sing at the same yeah. time. We need to do incorporate. Um, that yes, that instead of just group. me. Yeah. So uh, we learned this piece, and we did it a few years ago. Um, but we do it way better now. <laughs> so. <laughs> If we don't say so ourselves. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not comparing it to the original. I'm comparing it to us, which is fine. Uh, we, we shall see if, uh, if I can still play it well. Uh, am I in tune? Oh. Cabos. Am I right? It's a good thing my guitar Again, tech. Any, any other guitarist or musician can relate to that. Mm-hmm. Cabos. Carol, Carol of the capo. All right, so this is uh, Same Old, Same Old from the Civil Wars. Two, Oh, 
do I love you? Oh, what I do, and I'm going to till I'm gone. But if you think that I can stay in this same old, same old, same old, same old way, I don't. I don't. Thanks for watching. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. And that's going to do it for the second night of the All You Need Is Love virtual performance inside of the Bank Theater. We hope you've enjoyed the Fontaines. And ladies and gentlemen, we sure do appreciate your support here at the Bank Theater. If you've enjoyed tonight's show, we're looking for any help you can give, whether it's $5, $20 or more. We're grateful for it and we'll put it to good use to ensure that the performing arts are alive and well here in Leamington and Essex County. For a $50 or or more donation tonight, we'll put together a swag bag of bank theater goodies just for you and we'll get it delivered in a safe manner. Thanks again for joining us tonight inside the bank theater. I'm Corey Robertson. And that's going to do it for the second night of the All You Need Is Love. The heck is this show called again? Ah!